success. It all starts here. For over a century, students from Forest Lake area schools have attended our schools and been rewarded with an educational foundation that provides for a bright future. The list of alumni from our school system is filled with success stories. Success as measured in a variety of ways is the product of a school district that provides an excellent foundation at the elementary school level, terrific instruction in our junior high schools and college preparatory high school that helps provide the skills and tools for students to succeed in future academics and in their future careers. Most of our graduating seniors move on to some type of post-secondary education, whether it be a four-year college, technical school, or the military. Many have attended and continue to attend prestigious Ivy League universities, such as Harvard, Princeton, Stanford, and MIT. Many have gone on to study at one of the major U.S. military academies, while others stay closer to home and enroll in many of the excellent colleges, technical schools, art schools, or business colleges located right here in Minnesota. Our alumni are a diverse group. Forest Lake graduates have gone on to careers such as doctors, lawyers, teachers, scientists, small business owners, military enlisted personnel and officers, and many have worked in other fascinating vocations. We have among our alumni a Tony Award nominated Broadway actor, a local television news anchor, and an award winning Wall Street economist. The following are a few of the many interesting stories of those who have attended our school district and found success in various ways. Personal success, professional success, or success as measured by facing the many challenges we encounter every day and overcoming obstacles on our way to becoming better people. Success, it all starts here. I grew up in the Forest Lake area. I was the youngest of six children. My father was a guidance counselor at the junior high school in Forest Lake. Uh, my mother was a stay-at-home mom. And it was a great place to grow up. Uh, we played a lot of sports. Uh, it was a safe place to be. The, the main danger was being chased on the bicycle by the dogs that uh, would run after you occasionally. But it was uh, a really relaxed and a fun place to grow up. I attended Forest View Elementary School until the new Columbus Elementary School was built when I went into fifth grade. Uh, so that was very exciting to go to a brand new school. Then I went to Central Junior High School and Forest Lake High School. I, I found the school system was very good. Uh, some of the teachers there really inspired me, especially in elementary school. Uh, Daniel Winkleman was a great teacher, as was Karen Alm. Uh, they really knew how to make the kids at ease in the classroom, help them to learn, and I took away a lot from them. Uh, at the high school level, I remember clearly Gwen Hansen was a, was a terrific chemistry teacher. She was very demanding, so there's always an element of fear whenever you were in the classroom, but I learned a lot about chemistry and was well prepared when I went on to college. I went to St. Olaf College. Uh, when I was a sophomore, I took my first economics course and I really fell in love with the subject. I found a very interesting and very systematic way to look at the world in a way I hadn't thought of before. And it really was at that time that I made up my mind that I wanted to be an economist. After college, I wasn't quite ready to go on to work full time. I, I thought something different would be in order, so I applied for a Fulbright scholarship and received it. I went to Finland to study Finnish Soviet trade, which was kind of a unique barter system where the Finns traded their manufactured goods for Soviet oil. So I went there and studied that for a year. After that, I went on and got my PhD at Stanford University in economics. And that helped me go on to the Federal Reserve Board where I worked for five years. Uh, it was a great thrill to be able to work with, uh, quite closely in some cases, with Chairman Greenspan. Uh, so after the Fed then, I went on to uh, several private sector firms and ultimately to Barclays Capital, where I became the chief U.S. economist about five years ago. And in, at Barclays, my group, we fo focus on forecasting the U.S. economy and talking about the economy with our clients. And uh, we really follow a systematic approach to forecasting. We try to crunch all the numbers we can. We have econometric models that help us forecast, but we also use a lot of judgment. And that really has paid off. Uh, for example, lately, uh, last year, we were named the top economic forecasting firm on Wall Street. And really, that's just a testament to the kind of systematic approach we take to forecasting. I live in Rye, New York, with my wife Jody and our children, Alina and Ari. 
and we spend a lot of time together on, on family activities. Uh, my main hobbies at this point are really running with my dogs, otherwise the time is spent on uh, children's activities. My, both my children are in sports, in music, so we spend a lot of time going to their various events, and that does tend to, to fill up the weekends. We really enjoy coming back to the Forest Lake area. It brings back, for me, it brings back a lot of good memories, and it's a, it's a very relaxing part of the country. And we, we enjoy Minnesota in general, and, and also to see old friends in the Forest Lake area. The, uh, the Forest Lake schools really did have a significant impact on me. Not only did they, they really pre help me prepare for college, uh, also, the, the, the chance to play sports really taught me a lot about how to get through adversity, how to set goals, and really, really try to achieve them over time. I was a seventh grader when I decided I really wanted to be the high school goalie. And from that point on, I, I worked on that and ultimately was able to do that. So that taught me that you do want to set your goals big and really go in a systematic way in trying to achieve them. My name is Dean Mackey, and I am Forest Lake Area Schools. These are just a few of the many success stories from Forest Lake Area Schools. We expect to be adding many more features like these in the coming months and years as a tribute to our graduates, the past, present, and future adult members of our communities who contribute so much. These outstanding individuals are the pride of Forest Lake Area Schools, and we are honored to have been part of their success.